Hey guys, Lumsi here and welcome back to PC Building Simulator. It's been a while since the last episode. I've gotten a couple of requests and uh, thankfully a new update just released and I wanted to check it out and uh, it's been a while and I missed it. So hopefully you guys enjoy this episode. Let's get going. A little bit of recap though. In the last episode, if I remember correctly, we had a pending job which was to build a new PC for Shihan. This guy. So let's place that here. Let's also read, read his email because he had a couple of notes for us and uh, my trusty notepad is still here. So this is the guy who needs something done. A new PC, not you. Shihan Robert wants to play flight sims. Yeah, wants to be able to handle flight sims so he needs a new PC and uh, needs to run flight sims in recommended spec and he has a total budget of 1200 in the previous episode we already got the parts and I think the total was around 1190 so if we played our cards right we have all our parts ready and we have the budget just right so in this episode, we can assemble it and see if there's anything we missed. Now, a couple of hidden requirements here. He likes it to be benchmarked and he needs this to be done quickly. So 3D mark is needed and urgent as well, right? And then we'll need to check at the end of the day if the uh, PC is uh, available and capable of flying in recommended specs looks like mrs clumsy's uh, case a bit all right anyway all right so let's go and assemble this guy now what kind of cables does he need he doesn't really have any particular ones i think okay so let's see um, did i miss anything here i hope i didn't miss anything in terms of the the parts first thing i would install is the power supply there you go, EVGA 450. But before that, let's remove the case part first. And there's a new update, which I forgot to show you. Maybe let's go and check that out for a bit. The main thing is uh, you can change the, the monitors now. I don't have anything else at the moment. DFL Extra Vision is the only thing I have, but I'm guessing there are some branded monitors now available. If you go to the peripherals, keyboard, mice, mouse mats, headsets, and now monitors are available as well. Now, I don't have any other choice at the moment except for different colors, pink, white, blue, but all the same monitor. Maybe we will get something more as we level up. So let's just uh, plow through it. Yeah. Power supply. Now, this is modular, I believe. I got the modular one. Yeah, very clean. So we don't need to uh, clutter the cables if we don't need them. They are separate, completely separate. And that's a very uh, nice design there. All right, so power supply is attached. Let us also install the motherboard. The Gigabyte Gaming 5. I think that's the one. I think that's the one. All right, first let's screw all these guys. <laughs> Maybe that's not such a good thing to do. Uh, all right, so we need these mounts first and foremost before we attach our motherboard. There you go. And then close them up, screw them up. Try to balance it. Now this is, uh, what brand is this? Gigabyte, I think, right? Very nice layout, very nice model. I wonder when I'll be able to manage to upgrade my own PC in real life. I'm craving for a new video card and CPU. We'll see. We will see. Alright. So for now, I settle with the next best thing. Simulating the upgrade. Alright. So let's go and pop in the uh, CPU. The CPU itself, which is uh, an i5-6600K. Which I got the wrong thing. Oh crap. This requires an LGA 1151 socket. This is what we need. So I apparently got the wrong freaking motherboard. Really? Okay. 
Rewind, rewind. We need to get a new motherboard ASAP. And I think I will utilize the express shipping, Amazon Prime shipping, just so we can finish this darn thing. Oh man, I did not see that coming. So it looks like I did something wrong in the last episode. Something utterly wrong. Dang it. I'm too biased be being a Ryzen user that I didn't even realize. Gigabyte GA Gaming 5. Let's have a look. Motherboard. In terms of price, ascending. G G Gigabyte. Gigabyte Gaming 5. That's the guy. Yeah, socket is AM4. Dang it. Yeah, okay. Let's get the Gaming Pro Carbon then. It's a bit cheaper. It's compatible with our... Uh, socket lga 1151 same memory so that's good same size ram speed and capable of uh, multi gp okay let's get that guy and then let's go express shipping same day delivery i know it's going to be a pricey thing but right now money is money is not the, the biggest factor we need to preserve our pride all right there we go i hope i got the right thing this time Let's go and install the motherboard. This time the correct one, please. That's, that's the one. Okay. Same mounts, looks like. Or maybe it's very similar. Yeah, maybe it, it is the same mount because they, are, they have the same size. S80X. That makes sense. Plop the motherboard in. There you go. I kind of looked at the look of the... Uh, like the look of the other one better, actually. Looks more... Gaming. This one looks more sleek. Looks more elegant. There you go. Alright, now let's pop in the CPU. This time I hope it works. 6600K. 6, Perfect. Alright, there we go. Close that up. Do not forget. Do not forget the thermal paste. And before we. Yeah, I guess we can do the. Cooler Master Hyper 212 LED Turbo. Can you say that fast five times? All right, uh, that is the correct orientation. And then let's connect the cable to the CPU. Let's in install the memory. Oh, can I still install the memory with that? Uh, it's going to be tricky. Okay, I think I can. Let's see. Yeah, it's a tight fit. It's a very tight fit, but we can do it. And then let's install the other one on this third slot so we maximize the dual uh, memory feature. Good. So RAM is there. We need to install now the graphics card, which is a uh, GTX 980, I think. That's the guy. But before that, we have to unscrew this first yeah remove those two slots these guys and that one all right gtx 980 gaming 4 gle and then later on we will double check that the budget is still within reach okay looking good what else are we missing? We are missing the storage. I did get a large hard drive so our guy can uh, get some ortho photos installed. Because in flight sim, ortho photos take up terabytes of space. No need SSD, but you need a lot of space in there. And I think I need to remove this case panel because I will need to connect some cables in there. Um, but I think that is it basically. Let's double check the the budget is one one eighty. Okay, perfect. Still are within the budget. Let's get him some red cables. He didn't really require anything there, but I think I would get him that one just to be on the safe side. Looks pretty sleek, red and black, so we can take a nice photo later as well. Let's connect this to the motherboard. Those lights. This one connect the motherboard to the PSU. That's the biggest cable right there. Here, 
connect that as well to the motherboard and the graphics cards as well well graphics card with its multiple slots okay this guy is a case fan connect that here and then this guy connect that via sata over here i guess could work and connect the other slot to the psu as well perfect all right there you go pc can play flight simulator recommended spec amazing let's go and put in the usb let's power it on and install the os msi there we go dang it can't believe i made a huge mistake there now i do have three fans here i can't remember if that was for our guy do you think it is well if i look at the budget 369 maybe 10 bucks each I think I'll uh, go over the budget, so I'll, I'll keep it this way. After all, he has one fan there already. Yeah, that, that should be more than enough. The color scheme here is pretty nice, huh? I think I was able to do that pretty good. Okay, let's install 3D Mark. He wants that. And then while he's while the benchmark is running, we can also double check the other stuff. So no, not that. We want something more. We want the... Uh, where was it? Will it run? And then do we want to to overclock some stuff? We can, we can explore some overclocking. Why not? Just a little bit. I can't remember if his uh, CPU was built for overclocking, but let's try. And also the lighting, just in case there are other lights that we can tweak in his casing. I saw the MSI light, maybe we can make that red or something. One more. Stalling so much uh, garbage in his PC already. <laughs> there you go. Alright. Before we run 3D Mark, let's first run... Um, wait a minute. There you go, go to the BIOS first i5 6600k 3900 megahertz ram speed is 2133 we can actually turn on xmp here supposedly there we go that made it faster 2400 yeah that should be good that will make his speed a bit faster xmp is just like the uh setting a pre pre-optimized setting so that will help us so we don't need to tweak it these guys, um, we can tweak it actually, but I'm not sure. Yeah, let's do it, let's do it. Can't remember what uh, voltage, too much voltage can damage a CPU. We recommend you don't go above 1.5. We do have a very nice cooler, so we can amp that up a bit. We can maybe go 4100. Let's try that in the meantime. And then let's see if we need to, uh, we can increase it even more later on. Alright, apply changes and restart. Very nice interface from MSI. Very sleek look. I don't think I've had an MSI motherboard before. I have, I've had an Asus. Right now I'm using a Gigabyte. Maybe my next one can be an MSI. Alright, uh, OCCT. Check the lighting first. Uh, select all lights. Oh, these are for the uh, uh, GTX 980. That guy, can I change it? Yeah, I can. MSI Z270 Gaming Pro Carbon. And the case itself, I can also change the lights. Nice. Really? Oh yeah, those ones. You can see red. Red light there. And the motherboard. Very sleek. How about on the casing? The casing says it can change as well. But it's already red. Where is it? Let's apply that white thing. Let's see if, where, where it changes for the casing. I don't really see the light. Oh, this one. Maybe it's this one. Yeah. Let's make it red. Red and black is our theme. Is it that one? Yes, it is. Indeed, that's red. Kind of like white though, now that, I, that now that you mention it. Let's try white. White there. White on the motherboard as well. 
perfect. The mouse and keyboard we don't need to change because that's not his anyway. Yeah, that one. Make it white. Mm, yeah, not too shabby so that not everything is red. Kind of like that actually. Very nice. Let's go and uh, install back the casing at the back. Is it this one? No, that's not the one. The other one. That's the guy. So it looks sleek from here. Right? And then we can take some photos later. But first, let's go and check the overclocking. Overclocking is 32. Idle, that's very good actually. No, CPU is 48. Mm, yeah, that's not bad. Let's try it. See if it's heating up or something. Okay, now it's testing. Getting hot. Oh, that's super hot. 80 degrees. Let's see if it can work though. I think it's working so far. Yeah. 4100 megahertz. That's not bad. 5% overclock. So that we can at least uh, maximize his uh, CPU cooler. Yeah, it's not bad. Let's keep it. Let us keep it. Nice. All right. Let's go with that. And then let's go with 3D Mark. Uh, first, will it run? Just to be sure. Flight Sim. There we go. Everything is green. Recommended spec. Everything is still green. Perfect. And now we can run 3D Mark. Go. 12 point something. All right. And while that's working, we can take some photos here. How do you hide the HUD? There you go. So it's a nice angle, guys. What's a nice angle? Let's go and get that view right. I want to view the Cooler Master logo there. That's very sleek. It's quite hard. And I guess that can work, huh? So many uh, brackets in here. Are these all for SSD? Goodness. So it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 6, 7? Or is th are those for hard drives? Goodness, this is like for a workstation. Amazing. Hardcore stuff. Take one more shot here. Close up. Quite proud of that. It's nice. Okay, good. Let's leave that running. I do have one more job, which I think I can still work on at least from Spiel or SBL. Diagnose and fix. Oh, I haven't accepted it yet. Plastic black cables and uh, clean it up. Make some repairs. Yeah, let's accept it. Requires five stars, so and it pays, pays 310. Actually looks pretty promising. And look at all these pending jobs here. Yeah, it's just too much work. We need someone else to help us. All right, there you go. 3D Mark 4K is the score. Amazing. Overclock is working. All right, let's go and get that going. Good. And now we need just to install back the case parts. And the PSU mount, yes. Let's go and bring that back. Super sleek. Do we have the 2070 graphics cards yet? I think we do. But I, I'm not sure if I need to unlock them still. There you go. Place in the delivery area. Did I do everything? That's 3D Mark and Urgent. Those are the hidden requirements. There you go. Let's go and get our money's worth from that. Sheehan. Right? There we go. Five stars. We got 1535. Amazing. All right. Perfect. They seem great at building new PCs. Thank you. Appreciate that. Now, we didn't quite level up yet. Hmm. Fine. Fix this. Upgrade. Upgrade work done. Let's have a look at which one pays the best. Anything above 300 is what I'll be getting. That one is 435. Goodness, AIO water cooling and a 3D mark score of 3782. Interesting. Yeah, that looks like a promising thing. But I think we'll leave that for next episode. 
because uh, that requires an entire episode and what we'll do is we'll combine them both both the buying of the parts and the installing and then for this guy I guess we can use the uh, AMD motherboard that we bought that we weren't able to use in our previous uh, customer number one priority Feb 9 what is it now already what time what day is it Feb 9 Feb 13 already oh crap I think that's not a very good choice actually that might be urgent and it's been a while since I yeah might not be good we'll see we'll see anyway yeah SB list the one which he needs a bit of uh, fixing first maybe can I can I decline that even yeah this guy I think I have to quit that oh crap really got nothing one star did that lower my score okay I don't think it did oh I think it did ah oh, crap yeah okay we'll, we'll need to work on that again okay I didn't know you would get lower score when quitting I'm not even sure if I can still get the uh, pending from SBL because it's well it's in transit already okay that's good crap maybe I'll have to reload it anyway I'll think about how to do things guys let's uh, let's uh, go to the next uh, day and see how we can work on this yeah I think we'll have to skip on the let's not reload let's not reload we'll, let's not cheat let's uh, charge that to experience yeah charge that to experience go to work let's diagnose this, this guy oh I forgot to close my uh, PC in the, the, the uh, electricity it's been a while since I did that Oh, so many so many things look at that 379 for a new PC look and look at the budget Minecraft minimum spec and 3250 budget goodness Wow I think I'd like that that's the highest paying one let's go and get that let's do that for next episode Minecraft for the win uh, how about this guy? Let's uh, diagnose this first. Diagnose and fix. Uh, they want plastic black cables and they want it to be cleaned. Yes, who wouldn't want this to be cleaned? Open case before cleaning. Makes sense. So let's diagnose this guy before we end the episode. And let's see how far we can get. What do we need to change for this guy? Maybe we have some parts ready already. Maybe we can get lucky. Who knows? Sure. Goodness. How many decades has this been in the basement, I wonder? I want to talk. I don't have the cleanest PC. <laughs> to be fair. There you go. There it is. That's as clean as it can go. Alright. Let's try to turn it on first. Nada. Um let's see do I need to connect the cables manually it should be automatic so I'm guessing the power supply doesn't work and I don't have a power supply handy so I'll have to note it down we'll have to order it we'll have to see okay power it up nope not working all right so it's the power supply most likely let's remove that um, no? What's happening? Ah. Okay, I removed the wrong thing, I think. I wonder if there's a... Like, a, an instance where nothing is really wrong with the PC. It's like the guy just forgot to attach one cable. You just attach it and it's ready. I wonder if they can add something like that. That would be cool, huh? Uh, we need to remove this guy. I guess we need to remove the, the side here. Like so. And remove these ugly things. Goodness, blue and pink. Not my choice at all. 
Let's remove the PSU. Let's see if that is indeed broken. It's not actually, it's not. Interesting. So what could be broken? We'll have to diagnose everything, I guess. Yeah, we'll have to replace the cables anyway, so might as well remove everything for now. Uh, does he have a hard drive? Yes, he does. Let's remove the hard drive. Let's see if that's broken. No, it's good. Uh, let's see if the video card is broken. Maybe that's the culprit. If it is, then we can maybe easily replace it. Let's see. Remove the video card. Where are you? No, it's good. Maybe this is one of those examples. Just, just forgot to attach a cable or something. Okay, remove the RAM. Have a look. No, still good. Goodness. What's wrong with this? Maybe the CPU. Open CP... No, no, remove air cooler first. How about the cooler? There we go. That one's broken. Well, we have something that's very nice. Used one, but doesn't really need a, uh, uh, a brand new one. Okay, so that's broken. Let's see if the uh, CPU is as well. CPU. It's fixed. It's okay. Now the motherboard. Motherboard. Uh, that might be the problem there. Let's see. Let's remove everything. Might as well. I'm very tempted to get the auto screw upgrade. Because that saves a lot of time, right? Let's see how much it is. Maybe it's worth it. Good. Let's see. Motherboard. Yeah. Broken motherboard. Socket is uh, LGA1151. Dang it. Okay. Yeah. So it looks like we need another motherboard. Can't use the same one here because this is for Ryzen. Our guy's an Intel guy. So let me note that down. Mortoni H170. Mortoni H170. Mtech Plus. So let's say replace the following. I'll take note of it. So we replace that. We replace the cooler as well. Cryorig C7 CPU cooler. And then aside from that, I think everything is good, right? Because the CPU is good. Cooler and motherboard is broken. The RAM is good. GPU is okay. Storage is okay. Power supply, yeah. So those two are the ones that are broken. Let's go and order that already so I don't forget. At least let's put it in the shop. Well, do we have other stuff? No, not really anything pending. So we can actually buy it already. So, uh, let's see. A motherboard, more Tony. That's the guy. And the uh, cryo rig C7 in the CPU cooling department. That guy, perfect. Aside from that, I think we are good. We have plastic black cables, I think. Plastic black cable, yeah. Yes, alright, let's order that one. Okay. Ah, but we can also postpone it because we have a new PC. A new PC with a Minecraft guy. Yeah, we can buy all in one go. Yes, okay. So let's put that in the cart for now. And next episode, we will start working on this guy, the new PC, and at the same time, we'll install this back. Let me just go shopping for a bit, at least window shopping. Where's the auto screw thingy? Auto connect I already have. Quick cable tool. Uh, tap a screw. For it to screw itself. Oh, that one I think I like. Yes. Yes, let's get that. For easier... For more convenience. Quick cable tool. Uh, I think we're good there. Yeah, I think this will help. But we'll see because the, uh, the, our guy has a 3,250 budget and we'll have 3,9. So we might need that money. So I won't buy things yet. Alright? Anyway, let's leave it here for now, guys. It's a bit of a cliffhanger. Let's see. 
If you like this video, if you like this series to continue, please let me know in the comment section. Hit the like button. That's how I know that uh, there is interest in it. All right, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the thumbs up button, comment, share with your friends, subscribe, and all that stuff. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day in clumsy building. Bye-bye.